کنگره آمریکا کمیته خارجی جلسه استماع در زیر کمیته ضد تروریسم پنجم می 2011 I'd also like to know what's going on with the MEK FTO designation. Over 230 days ago, a federal district court has ruled that the State Department did not give the MEK due process when it decided to keep the MEK on the FTO list. The law states that reviews are to take place within 180 days should the group appeal its designation. It's been past 120 days. It's now 230 uh, days. Uh, during this time, the MEK has been attacked by the Iraqi military. Minami has confirmed that the Iraqi soldiers killed 34 residents at Camp Asheroff. 34 residents, I might add, that have yet to be buried. Yet to be buried because the Iraqis refused to allow them to be buried. Um, High-ranking public officials in the Iraqi regime repeatedly cite the U.S. terrorist designation as their justification for treating the residents of Camp Asheroff so uh, harshly. Uh, two battalions that invaded uh, on April 8th are still in Camp Asheroff. Iraqi troops will not let residents bury the dead, as I mentioned. They also won't let anyone come in for regular visits. U.S. representatives have not instigated an investigation. The U.N. has not instigated an investigation. And, of course, Iraq has not. Of course, we wouldn't expect those people responsible for uh, the action to instigate an investigation. And all of this to me, seems to be compounded and made more difficult because the State Department just won't take a position on the MEK. Either keep them on the list or take them off the list, but make a decision. Uh, of course, I think the evidence points to the fact that they should be taken off the list, but this delay, 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 not being able to make a decision for whatever reasons uh, is, I think, a problem that the State Department can have I can resolve and is within the State Department's power to, re, to resolve that matter. So uh, those are some questions and concerns that I have, and I would hope that uh, uh, these can be answered. I have introduced HRES 60, which urges the Secretary of State to take the MEK off the FTO list. Uh, we have 65 bipartisan colleagues that agree with that and have signed on as co-sponsors. I would hope the State Department can make a decision before this bill gets before uh, this committee in the House floor. And thank you, Mr. Speaker or Mr. Chairman. Um, I know that you're here to talk about Europe and Eurasia and uh, uh, Pakistan and the issues that were just raised by my colleague uh, are under the Middle East subcommittee's purview. But I hope you will address those issues because I share his concern about everything he said and I agree with all of them. So as much as is humanly possible, I hope that you'll uh, include those in your thoughts and remarks when we get to the questions. Let me switch gears a minute and ask you a couple of questions about uh, the MEK. Uh, every time we get together, I ask you about the MEK, uh, and I hope we get an answer someday. But is the State Department going to take them off the list? And if they are, when? And if they're not, when? When are they going to make? When y'all going to make a decision? Sir, I'm afraid the answer is the same one as when we saw each other a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> Uh, we are working as expeditiously as possible to complete the review that the U.S. Uh, Court of Appeals ordered. As recently as April 6th, we received new material uh, from MEK counsel, and we are reviewing it. And just as fast as we can, we are going to get uh, a recommendation package to the Secretary and have a decision made. Six months, year, do you I, have any idea? Uh, I, I can't give you a... A certain date, but I can tell you it will be less than six months, considerably less, I hope. And as a follow-up, um, I have uh, attended, as many members have, all, all of the uh, classified briefings that I'm aware of on this issue. Uh, has any new information come to surface in the last uh, two months uh, that would would help members of Congress on this issue, classified or not? As I mentioned, sir, we have received new information as recently as uh, last month uh, uh, from the MEK itself. Uh, and so we're reviewing that information and, and seeing if it uh, helps in our, uh, uh, in our deliberations. All right, I'll yield back the remainder of my time. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, I, I apologize. I missed part of the, your question, Mr. Poe. Did you ask about uh, what our State Department is doing to urge that those people who are, have not been buried, uh, 
would be dealt with? Are you aware of what he asked earlier on? I mean, if, if, if those people were, were killed some time ago and for whatever reason they're not being uh, taken care of properly, uh, it seems since we're a strong supporter of Iraq and the Iraqi government, we ought to be doing everything we can to make sure that's, that's taken care of immediately. I fully agree, and as soon as I get back to the department, I will check with my Near East colleagues. To would, would, you, would you let me and Mr. Poe and others on the subcommittee know about that? Certainly. Okay. 